Uh, there are lots of frequencies in and around a center pivot as well. Um, would any of these be detrimental to this working? Good question. Um, good question, Ken. So uh, the answer to your question is uh, we haven't noticed any problems. Obviously, if you have um, a very high energy like uh, radio wave or electric, electrical magnetic source by your pivot, um, that might be one, something we would have to work with you directly in order to answer that question uh, specifically for you. But really, we haven't noticed any major differences between, uh, obviously, if there's power lines or something like that, because the uniqueness of our system is it, it actually uh, goes right into the water from the installation point. So it's not necessarily like sending out broad radio wave signals out into the air. It's really focusing it right into the water. So it shouldn't really have a, a detrimental effect. But if you have concerns about that, we can uh, we can chat later on, um, and then we can uh, I can answer those questions. I may need like pictures of what kinds of devices or what kinds of things that um, you know is causing that. But we have installed this on a number of different pivots, and uh, we've never seen any problems uh, with it with the, with the typical workings of most pivots. So um, I don't think we've ever seen where it doesn't work on pivot irrigation. In fact, I think we've got 50 or 60 pivots right now, uh, or more perhaps. Um, and all of them uh, are working just fine. So the other thing we should know too is we have a um, we have a, a quality control check. So uh, once you install a device um, on a pivot, let's say, um, we would get have you get a water sample. So you turn the pivot on, and we'd have you go out and get a water sample from one of the pivots, and then send that back to us. We take it to our lab. We verify that those signals are in the water. So the water's charged. And obviously, if there was any kind of interference or uh, electromagnetic waves that you're worried about, then those should show up as being uh, interfering with our device. And of course, we can take appropriate measures at that point. So far, we haven't noticed any problems with that, though. Thank you for the question. Very good.